In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the just-in-time compiler. Uh, this speeds up the phone by compiling apps uh, as you run them. Um, to, to use the just-in-time compiler, you have to have XRecovery installed. And uh, there's another video showing you how to install XRecovery. Um, your phone has to be rooted. Um, so just as a benchmark, uh, I'm going to run Quadrant. This is free on the market. And this benchmarks the phone. And just click yes to send the results and as you can see uh, the X10 scores 552 right now so to start off go to the uh, go to the just-in-time page this is the X recovery page if you haven't installed it yet and this is the just-in-time compiler um, download the enabler. It's a zip file. So connect your phone, connect your phone, and copy it to your SD card. And I've also mirrored the file. After you've done that, take out the battery, put it back in, turn it on, and as soon as uh, you see the Sony Ericsson logo, press the back button. Uh, I just keep pressing it until I get into the X recovery uh, menu. And go. If you miss it, just uh, restart again. Some people have been having issues trying to get into the X uh, get into X recovery. So now you're in X recovery. So you use uh, the, the, vol the volume buttons to navigate. So we're going to install a custom zip. Press the home button to select. And choose custom zip from SD card. I, I, I copied it to my downloads folder. And there's the just in time enabler dot zip. Do you want to install? Yes. So it's going to install it. Once that's done, press back, go into advanced options, and the wipe the Dalvik cache. Are you sure? Yes. It's going to wipe the cache, and now you're done. Just reboot your phone.
So now that it's started up, I'm just going to go back into Quadrant and run the benchmark again. And you should see a boost in uh, the, the score and speed. And proceed. And the score is now 769. So it's gone up about 220 points. And that's how you install the just in time compiler.